Shalom, shalom. My name is Apostle Paula. This is Apostle Betsy. Welcome. And today we're doing Holy Letter 181. That's letter line 181. <laughs> Let's get into it straight away. We read the Strong's descriptions of this number 181. In Greek, it means a disturbance, upheaval, commotion, disorder, revolution, almost anarchy, first in the political and then in the moral sphere. In Hebrew, it means firebrand, to poke or rake together embers. And Roger Thesaurus means aircraft. And that gives us modesty, which we link with self-chosen option, a religious philosophical sect, and idea linking that with Lord of Righteousness, Justice. Adonis Zedek is translated as Master of Zedek, that is of Jerusalem, the City of Righteousness. Hallelujah. And this is the meaning. So if you have been seeing this number, uh, this is what you need to look at and understand what it's telling you uh, in your situation. So we read, upheaval, commotion, disorder, a revolution, or a disturbance in your political or moral sphere has caused you to rake together or put together the embers from those flames toward the momentum of plans, ideas, or projects that you wish to get off the ground. The word aircraft in column B is a reflection of successful experiences that are progressing. Everything coming together to ensure a desired controlled outcome. Knowledge and love frees people those who do not allow themselves to sin and the knowledge of the truth lifts them up that is it makes them free and superior to all but love builds up if you become human a human will love you if you become spirit spirit will unite with you if you become word Word will have intercourse with you. The Bible verses supporting uh, this word is from Psalm 18, verse 1 in the King James Version. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. And in Hebrews 1, verse 8 we read, But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is for ever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is a scepter of thy kingdom. The blue section again. Modesty 
is your chosen religious and philosophical option. These are the hidden sayings that the living Yeshaya spoke and Judas Thomas, the twin, recorded. Those that are above, however, do not exist like those that are visible. Rather, they live from their own root and their crops nourish them. In Samuel 1, uh, 1 Samuel 31, verse 1 to 3 we read, in the easy to read version. Meanwhile, the Philistines fought against the Israelites and the Israelites ran from them. There were many dead bodies that fell at Mount Gilboa. The Philistines fought hard against Saul and his sons. They killed Jonathan, Abinadab and Malkishua. The battle grew even more intense around Saul. The archers closed in on Saul and wounded him with many arrows. You have or get an idea of Jerusalem, the city of righteousness, and the master of Zedek, Melchizedek priesthood. For many of the first will be lost and will become a single one. Final two Bible verses taken from Psalm 33 verse 6. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. In Galatians 3 we read, O oh, foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently sent, set forth, crucified among you. Okay, so. Uh, thank you, Apostle Betsy, for reading. So uh, here you might have noticed that I switched out a Bible verse uh, because I noticed that we had Psalms, and Psalms is actually the 19th book, and what I wanted was the 18th book. So this is still a work in progress, and so we put the 18th book of the Old Testament and Job uh, and the Bible verses 1-8, right? And it reads, And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considereth my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil? So as we go back and we remember the beginning of this letter line, it's talking about upheaval, upheaval, commotion and disorder, revolution, etc. And I mean, who better represents that than Job? So we can see here uh, not only a confirmation, but maybe a bit more of an explanation as to what kind of disturbance is going on in your life if you're dealing with this number. Um, Hebrews, the next one here, we have a scepter of righteousness, and of course, he's upright. Well, that's Job. But we also have righteousness. It's down here, actually, in this last blue part. But in, in general here, when we read the second part of this letter line, it's talking about you know knowledge uh, and love frees people and, and not allowing yourself to sin and all that is the definition of righteousness here. Although we know that uh, we're not accounted righteous because of our works, it's, it's because of our faith in the Most High Father. But still, we, we see the idea about love here. Looking at this letter line 181, I get the feeling that it's actually quite a very positive uh, message coming through. Now, on the one hand, there's upheaval and there's commotion. But on the other hand, there is good news if you are in Christ, if you have done the work and uh, walk in a close relationship with him. Because through this upheaval and commotion, we see that your plans are coming together. Your projects get off the ground. And that is where the word aircraft is, is symbol, uh, symbolic of success that you are experiencing. Uh, in your life and you know the success I would probably think of here is spiritual growth being more filled with the anointing with the spirit so um, let us not look at with fear at upheaval and commotion that's happening in the world around us let us also understand that this could be the catalyst that uh, brings about further spiritual growth within us you can't have all those good things of freedom and knowledge and all of that if you don't go through the fire first. So that's, that's beautiful. Now, 
the way that we got this letter line was Apostle Betsy, I think it was her score on uh, Duolingo or something like that. And But what's interesting about this letter line, I'm just going to skip down to the third part. It says, you have or you get an idea of Jerusalem, the city of righteousness, and the master of Mazetic. Uh, uh, Zedek. Now, what's interesting about this is that we just taught last Saturday, which was December, I don't know what last Saturday was, but today is December 20th. So uh, we just got the message from Holy Ashaya about New Jerusalem, and that's a mighty message, and I'll put it here on the, um, on actually this video, letterline video, will go on a blog where we share Holy Ashaya's messages. And on that blog, I also put the video. So I'll put the link here underneath this video or in the comment section where you can go and see the video that will be posted uh, with this video you're watching now and the letter line. But uh, we, we were preaching about New Jerusalem and then she the next day she gets this confirmation yes, about you yes. have her get an idea about Jerusalem. We were just floored. Yes, it's always so wonderful when we pick up a letter line that so closely connects with words Holy Ashaya has given us or revelation that we have received. It's just a confirmation. Yes, we understood correctly what, uh, you know, Father has told us. So it's really a wonderful thing. Uh, the, this last part about uh, Psalms 33, about the word, we can see the word is talked about here, and it's also talked about above if you become the word. Now, when it says to have intercourse with you, I, that this is a spiritual thing. It's not a carnal, you know, worldly intercourse. I, I can't actually tell you what it means except mingling with you, I would imagine, energetically, but that's not a physical intercourse. That's spiritual. I mentioned earlier on that this is a very positive letter line, but with most letter lines, there's also a stark warning in the message for us that we need to take note of. So we read in 1 Samuel 31 uh, about when Saul was killed. The Philistines were fighting against the Israelites. Where we are now, we know that Satan is coming against the body of Christ. Satan is fighting against spiritual Israel and we need to stand firm against this fight. Uh, earlier on in the blue section we see that modesty should be our self-chosen uh, religious or philosophical option and further above we see about knowledge and we see about love and, and truth. Those are the things that we need to aspire. Now, unfortunately, this is a story when Saul was killed. Now, I'm sure we all know a little bit about the character of Saul. We cannot be a Saul in this day and age. We need to make sure that we live lives that are holy, modesty, that we seek truth, that we are in the word, that we love. If we don't, we may also fall at the hands of the enemy like Saul did. So let us take heed of this warning. Let us be excited about this positive message, but also make sure that we reflect on our lives so that we can overcome the enemy. I remember now what I wanted to say <laughs> earlier. So here there are hidden sayings that the living Yeshaya spoke. This was interesting because the same time that we received this message about New Jerusalem, Holy Yeshaya, he comes and speaks with us at 6.15 on the Sabbath morning. So we got that message. And so it, it came from scripture and you can clearly see, we went through all the scriptures, how it's right in your face. You know, it's the understanding, the revelation of uh, this New Jerusalem we understood. It's, it's, it's there in scripture, but it was hidden it was hidden and something that you can't see or understand without the Holy Spirit giving you that understanding. So this was, this was, you know, just so cool that we had that confirmation here in the letter line with that video we did on Saturday. And again, I will post it, the link in the comments. So um, I pray that this has been a blessing to you. As, as I try to say in every video, this is not the end all uh, or the begin all or end all of this number 
uh, 181. There's so much in here. It's like, um, it's a hidden code. It's the Most High Father's language. It goes on forever and ever. It's fractal. It's nothing that we as humans could document in our lifetimes. So it's up to you to just take this as a, a you know, a diving board. Uh, these first four parts here, if you just read these by themselves, you might already have an idea, a more idea of what it could be telling you. And of course, with these Bible verses, you can go nuts and find all the different Bible verses that resonate at that 181 frequency and find much more information but this is how we experience this letter line we pray you've been blessed we give all praise glory and honor to the most high father and have a beautiful blessed day holy Shashaya. shalom thank you for watching